Hey YouTube, what's going on today? Today I'm going to do a video and it's going to discuss the difference in pay based off of fuel economy if you are going 60 miles an hour compared to if you go 70 miles an hour and I'm going to back it all up with the math. Let's get into it. Okay, so I'm going to be reading off my paper because I did all the math before I made the video that way it doesn't get too long and we can just get through this as quick as possible okay so I checked and the national fuel average right now is four dollars and eighty cents per gallon a truck and the, I'm gonna go off of my numbers on my truck it may be different for other people but with my truck at 60 miles an hour uh, I get around 8.5 miles per gallon and at 70 miles per hour I get 7.2 miles per gallon first what I'm going to do is I'm going to go off of if the trucks run both run 3,000 miles uh, so 3,000 miles out of 60 miles per hour with the 8.5 miles per gallon uh, on average You'll, you'll use 353 gallons, and the price for that for the week will be $1,695. 3,000 miles at 70 miles per an hour average, you'll use 417 gallons, and the price of, will be $2,002. So with this being said, if both trucks do 3,000 miles, let's say okay let's tell you how let's break it down even more so if you go 60 miles per hour compared to 70 miles per hour you will save 307 dollars per week a 60 mile an hour truck will say will only get 3,000 miles per week with potential of losing a 500 mile run now let's let's just make it easy and we'll say that all the loads all the miles for the week pay two dollars and fifty cents a mile so if you lose a 500 mile run because you're going 60 miles an hour compared to 70 miles an hour then you're down five hundred dollars on the week so you saved 307 in fuel but you lost that extra 500 mile load and so that means you lost the fifteen hundred dollars for the extra load let's let's list i actually got into it where it breaks it down even further so 60 miles an hour at 8.5 and 70 miles an hour at 7.2 so we're going to say that the 60 mile an hour truck did 3,000 miles and it burned 353 gallons. The cost is $16.95. Now the 70 mile an hour truck did an extra 500 miles because you had more time to do that extra 500 miles. Now that's not always the case. Sometimes they give you more time than you need and if, if that's the case then yes, slow down. Go slower because what's the point of wasting all the fuel if you got plenty of extra time to get the load done. But I'm getting off track, so let's do this. 70 miles per hour on 3,500 miles because you got that extra 500 mile run in. You're going to burn 486 gallons, and the price is going to be $2,333 for the week compared to the 3,000 miles on the other one, which was $1,695 for the week. Now, if you ran this extra 500 mile run, and all miles driven were $2.50 a mile. Let's look at the difference in pay. 
So we've already done this, but we'll do we'll break it down to pay. 60 miles per hour, 3,000 miles. The pay is 250 a mile, equaling out to be $7,500 minus the 1695 in fuel. That that will give you a total gross after fuel of $5,805. At 70 miles an hour, 3,500 miles a week. Instead of the three thousand, you did thirty five hundred, so you worked. You got you worked a little bit more, but the pay is at two fifty a mile is eight thousand seven hundred fifty dollars minus your fuel is two thousand three hundred and thirty three in fuel, leaving you with a total of six thousand four hundred and seventeen dollars. So the sixty mile an hour truck on three thousand miles made five thousand eight hundred and five, and the 70 mile an hour truck at 3,500 miles made 6,417. <clears throat> so if trucks, both trucks go 3,000 miles, then the 60 mile an hour truck will save $370 for that week. But If the 70 mile an hour truck does 7.2 miles to the gallon, does the extra 500 miles, the truck will actually gross an extra $612 on this week, even after paying for the extra fuel. So what I'm going to suggest is if you have the extra time between the pickup and the delivery where you don't have to go 70 miles an hour, then slow down and and go 60 miles an hour obviously because you're going to save that 300 and some odd dollars that i discussed earlier but if you're able to run hard and get that extra 500 mile load in at the end of the week um, you're actually going to make more money running your truck at 70 miles an hour rather than going 60 miles an hour just make sure you're following the speed limit and everything because a speeding ticket, if you do get a speeding ticket, that's going to blow it all away. Okay. Well, I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you next time.